Hello guys, this is Rotos. Today I'm going to talk about this very unique looking alcohol burner. This is used by a lot of shoemakers or a lot of leather workers all around the world. Uh, this is a very old design and I believe it's a handmade in Germany. I've, I've never really got to know this maker for this lamp. If you know the maker of this lamp, please leave me in the comments and uh, please educate me. Uh, there is no maker mark. Uh, all around this lamp. It's just a very old style, old school uh, alcohol lamp which has this very nice stand here. And before I talk about the details, I, I'd like to uh, show you where you can purchase this. Um, this is Rocky Mountain Leather Supply and if you go to their main website and if you go to uh, say View All Tools and it says the name, the alcohol heating lamp. Um, they ship worldwide, they have a great service. And you can buy this here, uh, alcohol heating lamp, and uh, you will get it from here. Yeah. So, um, I want to show you just overall look of the, the lamp here. So first of all, it has very unique design here, and which kind of makes it difficult to light this up. And what's the cool thing about this lamp is you can really just disassemble your lamp like this. Okay, so it has also cap. Uh, mine doesn't really fit perfectly to this cap, so uh, it, it, I think it's also I'm not sure if it's supposed to, but this cap is just uh, made of brass tubing, and on top is some kind of uh, metal. I'm not sure exactly what kind of metal it is. But it's a tube yeah, and has quite it, it's um it's bent it outward just a little bit to fit inside so uh, it has this uh, mechanism I can just show you uh, it's all made of brass and then you can see this wick inside the, the lamp and then you can you can screw it like so. It's very thin type of um, brass and then they sealed it with this soldering or brazing. Uh, it doesn't leak and because being capped so tight, so tight that doesn't really uh, close it all the way into the end, I didn't really force it to push it down further so it, has, it's, it kind of tilts it back or one direction or another. It's quite a seal here. Uh, I, I know it's not a watertight or I know it's not an airtight seal, but uh, this really serves as a to prevent this alcohol uh, prevent it too early. Yeah? So it keeps um, quite quite alcohol in in this lamp quite a while. So I don't mind. Uh, this is not a high end uh, made alcohol lamp anyway. So I like this old look of it. I kind of overfilled this lamp um, before the video, so it it some has some leakage. But uh, normally it doesn't. You're not. You don't have to worry about this leakage. It was. It's just. Um, I just overfilled this lamp before the video. Uh, for the for the fuel, it's important that you put um, the alcohol fuel for this job. Uh, you never put any um, petroleum based. Um, lamp oil for this job okay uh, for this lamp you only need to able to do this alcohol uh, if you're in germany you need to use a uh, brand spritus uh, this is the the one that you should use for this one uh, you can you can use a uh, different alcohol based fuel it's not a necessary 100 percent to use um, any specific alcohol but um, what it really matters is you you really make sure to use alcohol um, fuel uh, if you use oil um, this will have very um, dark smoke coming out um, from the lamp and for the usage it's not really fit the purpose because you normally will crease, uh, heat up the creaser with the lamp so um, never use any oil base or lamp oil or any depot fluid or lighter fluid never use those kind of fuel only alcohol based fuel okay so how, to, how this lamp is used is that you first light up this lamp with any lighter and you can adjust your flame by adjusting this wick so if you want to make your flame smaller make your wick smaller 
and if you want to make big fire yeah and then you you make you protrude your wick just around one centimeter okay so I, I believe one centimeter is I think good size for the for any creasing job okay so after you light it up you place your stand like this okay and then you place your creaser don't over go above this on fire like this it makes uh, light creates a black um, kind of tarnish your creaser just try to put it close to your f flame just like this this makes um, your creaser hard enough to make creasing line to your leather and it also doesn't really get any black on your on your creaser okay so near the fire and you have really long handle you might need to um, have another support next to your lamp it has this is already long enough for most of your handled creaser but uh, if I give you the measurements um, the stand provides you about eight centimeters of uh, length yeah eight centimeter long of um, stand so if you have a really long creaser you might need to consider having support such as this item that I made maybe if it works yeah so if you have a longer let's show you here yeah like this if you have a longer handle you might need to extend your support okay but in this case we don't need this okay so you need to know like, using this lamp requires some of the experiences because um, this is old school which I really I really like and you don't know the temperature of the exact temperature of this creaser right now so from the experiences uh, you need to need able to tell um, how hot it is and if it's good enough for um, grazing the line okay and that's the fun part of it uh, I enjoy those kind of uh, analog process uh, I like I like sciences and physics but uh, when it comes to craft I, I love guessing work yeah it's a uh, it's really nice uh, nice to really learn the craft by getting the experiences how how um, you you learn by you doing it okay so how you normally do is you can you can actually get it close to your hands but be careful you might burn yourself and you can feel the heat really okay and you will feel ah, okay this is hot enough and then you will uh, make a crescent line like this okay so this is the right handed one so I have to use it like this okay I just made a mistake there it's okay yeah so that is it so you make you see top line here that's a creasing line okay so you do it like this I think you have seen some of my other videos especially my uh, I think you may have seen my other videos using my uh, other alcohol burner which didn't have any stand so um, which I normally did was I didn't have any stand like this um, I have a different burner and you can just um, heat up your crease up at this setup like this also this is also possible but in the end you have to really hold it in your hand and you have to wait for um, your crease to be heated up like this which is okay for a certain point but then this stand gives you full advantage of you doing the other task while your creaser is heating up. So, for example, you let your creaser heat it up like this, put it to one side. Yeah, of course, uh, you need to um, put it in a place where the yeah you don't catch in the fire any fire. Yeah, so, always fire hazard is really important in your workshop, and you can place it here, and then you can glue some other other stuff. You can work in in other for example you can work on edge coat or you can glue some other parts and then you can you can really wait um, until the crease are heated up and then you, you get more efficiency out of this so um, having this um, stand right here built in like this in your workshop 
it's really nice touch. I've seen a lot of um, old shoemakers that it's really tarnished brass, um, really it's old, um, the stand is kind of really half broken but still works and I, I really um, like to see the, the, how it turns out after 20 or 30 years. There's much nothing to be break here. There's this this setup will just, you know, be like this in your workshop, really forever. Um, brass gets really patinaed over the time, and it's just a classic, classic item. Yeah. So you you wait again until the crease heats up, and then you make another crease. So I'll demonstrate here again. So, yeah. Oh, that was too hot. Okay, make another creaser. Creasing line. Okay. I prefer the creasing line to be rather hot than uh, just too weak, you know, because the creasing line gets really fine line, you know, like this. So, yeah, this is the creasing line with your creaser. So, if you don't have a filetus but you want to still get a nice hot creasing line, this alcohol lamp will be a good addition. You can also finish your edge coat. So, when you want to put off the fire, remember having these, don't lose this. So, you can just disassemble it up, check it, then place back in, and then you close it like this. What I really like about this alcohol lamp, the alcohol burner, is that it has a very simple construction. So uh, there is no screw here, you just need to pull it out like this, and it just fits right in back. So there is a friction, just the fit is just tight here, so um, there is no screw, you can just easily um, uh, take it out like this, disassemble like this, and then look at this fi a simple construction they, they built it up like this. Uh, if you only have this kind of lack, uh, it will bend or it might have too much stress while it's on your work table. They, they try to reinforce this with this bar. So this bar really gives the rigidity of the lack of this stand. So it's a quite nice construction. It has it's it's not a just a one single piece of steel um, sheet metal, but then they fold it in on this lip so that it, it provides a smoother rounded edge, and the whole part doesn't get hot either. So when you're using your alcohol lamp, the body is never hot, and this part also never hot. So you don't really burn your handle while the bed is really stays on cold. What's a little bit hot is, hot is this, this round cylinder part. Um, now it's a little bit warm, but it's okay to touch. So, um, and there's a hole here, and it provides air so that the uh, alcohol burns well. So it's really nice wall construction. A lot of um, good thoughts are put into this, and I, lo I love this kind of um, old traditional um, tool is still being made somewhere in the world it's a it's a really nice addition to your tool so if you are inserted interested into um, old school hand creasing you don't need any electricity for for this type of tool setup so whether electricity is there or not you can start your work without any problem which I really like so all right so that was, that's it if you like this video please give me a thumbs up if you don't like this video please give me a thumbs up <laughs> and i hope to see you guys next video bye bye